Hello uh, students and parents to this little tutorial. It's about tuning your guitar. So parents, you might need to help your children to tune the instrument before practicing uh, at home. And uh, just in case you're not aware how to do it, because it might be you're not a guitar player and you haven't seen this before, I've made this little tutorial. So. What we do is, first we use an electronic tuner and afterwards I will show you how to do it with an app on your iOS or Android device, okay? First, using the tuner, we will switch it on as I've done already. So this one you just switch on by pressing the power button, of course. So it will switch on. Then we verify that it's set to 440 Hertz, which is the frequency we, we need. With the arrows up and down, you can adjust this. But it, once it's set to 440, it doesn't have to be changed anymore. And then it's very useful if it has the function to just go on guitar. You see the word guitar over here. And please have a look into the manual of your actual tuning device they're all different so you might um, you might find out there how to switch from guitar to chromatic to different instruments this is just how you do it okay so the tuner is already working as you see because you see these lights flashing up uh, that's from my voice because it has a built-in microphone which you see uh, on the downside of it and as I, as I pluck the strings, it will show us if a string is too high, which will be indicated with this light, or too low, which will be this light, or if it's pitch perfect, which means we are here. Okay, so I'm going to pluck the biggest string now. It's the sixth string. It's, it's the highest one. And the lowest sounding one, and it refers to the, to the mechanic over here. This is the machine head. That we are going to turn. If we turn it one way, note goes higher. If we turn it the other way, note goes lower. So I will remain silent now to not confuse the tuner. So that's the sixth string. Now I pluck the fifth string. And you see it shows me fifth string, but a bit too high. Usually it's helpful to go uh, too low and then from downwards get into the right pitch here we go okay and this is what you do with every string there's just one th one thing that you need to be aware of sometimes a string is so far out of tune that the tuning device thinks you are actually playing a different string so you see, when I pluck a string, it says 5A. The guitar has six strings, and we count through them like this. We count from thin strings to big strings. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when this one is heavily too high, which is actually string 5, the tuner might say it is string 4 and too low. So make sure that you always verify the number of the string. The numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The names of the strings are E, B, G, D, A, and E. Okay, so instead of using the tuning device, we are going to the app now. So I've just tuned two strings now. Of course, you, you will have to do it with all six strings and mainly with, the, um, mainly with the first and second string as your child is just starting to 
learn the guitar because this is the first strings that I learn playing on. Okay, the app I chose is called Guitar Tuner. This is the icon. Um, we click on it and we'll have a look. It's just starting. You can get this for any iOS or Android device. Okay, Boy, I need to turn this around because it only works upside. Actually, this is the Guitar Tuner app. So what you see here is a button called Auto. I recommend switching that one off because now we have the chance to tell our app which string we're actually playing. So we type on this one and it refers to this string. So it's actually the same. And now we have this little trigger here, and we need to get it to the middle. It gives us an acoustic signal when we are good. Don't be, um, don't be nervous if it doesn't go directly to the perfect, uh, to the perfect place. Uh, don't be too careful about it. it. It's enough if it wants pings, because some children's guitars are difficult to stay. Uh, difficult to keep in tune and uh, it's enough if, if it pings once and we're good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you hear the p the sound of the string as well I'm going to play the first string which is good so let's pretend it is too low yes so this is what you do with every string do not forget to always tell the app what string you're playing. This is because auto is switched off. When auto is switched on, it will automatically recognize which string you are playing. And we have the same problem as we had with the, with the other tuning device. It might assume that you are playing a different string than you actually do because you're so heavily out of tune. In that case, you need to double check. So to make it easy as well for the children learning to tune, switch auto off. Okay, right, um, I hope that was helpful so far and um, I hope it will uh, help you supporting your children at home practicing. Um, double check if the guitar is in tune maybe shortly before your child starts practicing or before you start practicing yourself and um, then it will be much more enjoyable and as well if you practice with the music which I'm going to show you in another tutorial, it will uh, be much more helpful if the guitar is tuned properly because the notes refer to the notes only. All right. Thanks for watching and bye bye.